I'd like to take a moment to let you all know about a new nonprofit organization started by my brother Craig. It's called Treats and Truth. They fill oversized brown lunch bags with snack items, chips, crackers, popcorn, cookies, etc. Also, a bottle of water, toothbrush, toothpaste, sanitary wipes, and most importantly, a small gospel tract book of John. No cigar? Uh, I'll have to talk to him about that. The bags are then hand-delivered to the homeless and people in need in and around the Los Angeles area. Let's help get this ministry off the ground. They're a 501c3 tax-exempt organization, so any and all donations are tax-deductible and greatly appreciated. Visit their website at treatsandtruth.org. Check out the show notes for the link. Also, please follow them on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you. Welcome to episode 98 of the Burning Bush Podcast, where we share the message of the Bible while enjoying a good cigar. Hope you're doing well, and I'm glad you've joined me today. This week, we continue reading through Dr. Justin Bass's book, The Bedrock of Christianity, The Unalterable Facts of Jesus' Death and Resurrection, and I'm smoking the Blackbird Cigar Company, The Crow, Gran Toro 6 by 54. So let's go on over to the Blackbird Cigar website and see what they have to say about this cigar. The Crow is a medium to full-bodied cigar with a slow burn and smooth draw, which allows the complex flavors and notes of our grade A long filler tobacco to shine through. The wrapper is a Mexican San Andres binder is Habano, and the fillers are Corojo and Criollo 98 from Nicaragua and Pennsylvania. And the Vitolas are the Robusto 5x50, the Gran Toro 6x54, and the Doble Toro 7x60. And that is the Crow from Blackbird Cigar Company. So let's go ahead and get back into this week's reading of Dr. Justin Bass's book, The Bedrock of Christianity. And the title of this week's section is Final Questions. Reader, there is undeniably a resurrection-sized hole in history. As New Testament scholar C.F.D. Mull forcefully wrote, If the coming into existence of the Nazarenes, a phenomenon undeniably attested by the New Testament, rips a great hole in history, a hole the size and shape of the resurrection, what does the secular historian propose to stop it up with? If Jesus stayed dead, if he did not rise from the dead, then what do you propose to stop it up with? If Jesus did not appear to them, who did make them act? The challenge for the historian is either to accept what the earliest followers of Jesus claimed, that God raised Jesus from the dead, or come up with a better explanation for why Christianity began, made the claims it did, and went on to conquer the world. As I have read virtually every alternative historical explanation to Jesus rising from the dead, I find them all, in the light of the bedrock facts, absolutely absurd. However, there is one view I do have respect for. It is the cautious agnostic approach mentioned in chapter 6. This is best represented in what E.P. Sanders says at the end of his discussion of all the historical facts surrounding the death of Jesus and appearances to his earliest followers. That Jesus' followers, and later Paul, 
had resurrection experiences is, in my judgment, a fact. What the reality was that gave rise to the experiences, I do not know. I do not know. Fair enough. I will, though, challenge this approach the way Jules challenged Vincent. Don't do that. Don't you do that. Don't blow this off. What just happened was a miracle. We just witnessed a miracle, and I want you to acknowledge it. The earliest followers of Jesus, against all odds, believed Jesus rose from the dead and appeared to them. And at least three of them, Peter, Paul, and James, we know gave their lives for this belief. As I quoted Tolkien and Wilson as saying above, so many skeptical men and women have believed. Most of the greatest writers and thinkers of the past 1,500 years have believed it. Do not stop at agnosticism. This is indeed wondrous strange. Open your eyes and the eyes of your heart. As a stranger, give the risen Jesus welcome. And that's the end of this week's reading of Dr. Justin Bass's book, The Bedrock of Christianity. Be sure to check out the show notes for links to Dr. Bass's website, as well as this week's cigar. Also in the show notes are links to Treats and Truth Ministry, where you can get involved in helping to spread the gospel to and be a blessing to the homeless. Groundworks Ministries for daily Bible studies and devotionals and the Burning Bush Merchandise Store, where you can pick up some items to help spread the word about the show. And I'd appreciate it if you would tell your friends. So until next week, have a great day, have a great cigar, and God bless. God bless.